Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unbox and Reviews now too, and on today's video, I'm going to take a look at something which has been annoying me and possibly you as well, hence why you've probably found this video, and that is ASUS Armory Crate RGB lighting just going completely on the fritz. Now, if you're not too sure what I mean by that, it's uh, if you're just getting weird stuff happening, if your motherboard lights are for some reason just turning off and then turning back on, or every now and then it just stutters and stops, and perhaps if you've got your Armory Crate Aurora Sync and you've got multiple devices, they're all basically doing the same thing and going nuts. It uh, really annoys me. It annoys Dave as well. So let's head over to the computer and we'll look at a potential way of fixing it. Now the easy way of doing it is essentially to use the ASUS Armory Crate Uninstall tool. Now it's not always obvious how you should use it. So let's go over to the computer and we'll uh, talk about some of the things that I've done to help with my RGB madness. Okay, so here we are on the desktop my Windows PC. So this is Windows 11 uh, 3900K, so yeah, potentially that could be the problem as well. But the lighting has been doing some weird stuff, flashing and flashing on and off, and if you've got all of your ASUS RGB stuff all synchronized together, it can be somewhat distracting. Now I have tried various things such as turning off synchronization and doing individual lighting on each device. That has had limited success uh, at times. I've also tried the Aurora performance mode as well, Turning that on generally does consume more CPU power, but can make the lighting slightly more smooth. Uh, that hasn't helped for me in this particular instance. The only thing which has helped really is uninstalling the whole lot and just relying on the motherboard to do its own thing from the BIOS settings. Um, and also removing the software in its entirety in a specific way and then adding it back in again. So at the moment, it all seems to be working absolutely fine. So that's great. Uh, there is one update which if we go into the update center and go into the device and components, there was a lighting add-on. This, These two here were the most recent ones that I could see which actually installed after everything else. And that was the effect BD and option BD. Now those two potentially could be problematic, the festive effects. Whether or not that checks in with the time and date, I'm not entirely sure. But that seems to be two parts which I would recommend leaving they are optional updates, uh, potentially leave those off. I'm gonna give this a little while longer and see how it goes. I don't think you can actually remove them once they've been put in. You can see there you've got the effect Halloween, Christmas, so maybe it's checking a clock or something. I, I really don't know. But anyway, so that's the things that I've tried with limited success again. Removing the whole thing is the best way. Now, when it comes to actually removing the Armory Crate software, you would think the kind of the simplest way to do it would be just to go into my computer. So click on settings, go into applications, install applications, and then you'd scroll down and you'd find Armory Crate, click on that and choose uninstall. Now, whilst that actually does a reasonably good job, it doesn't seem to remove all of the elements. So there's lots of elements made up of Armory Crate. So you've got the Armory Crate light service, framework service, motherboard, Aurora, lighting effect add-ons, Aurora services, game SDKs, there's loads of other things as well if you scroll down through. So I would suggest don't use the uninstall method from this part here. This is the worst way of doing it because it doesn't clear the system out properly. So we can close that down. We'll open up a web browser. If you head over to asus.com forward slash support only armory crate, uh, links for this will be in the video description anyway, so you don't have to worry about that too much. But just search for armory crate. If you go to armory crate drivers and tools, it'll come up here saying utilities armory crate and there's only the installer, which you can actually use as an uninstaller as well, but that's uh, by the by. So if you click on show all, you can actually scroll down and there's actually this part here, which is the Armory Crate Uninstall tool. And it's only a small file, 11 megabytes in size when it's zipped. And this will basically re-trigger the Armory Crate installer and all that kind of stuff, get rid of all the leftover bits. So click on download, save it to somewhere where you want to keep it. So I'm going to save it to the Windows desktop very small file so you can just close that right click choose extract all extract and you get a folder now inside the folder are some interesting things so you've got the actual uninstaller tool when you run this right click choose run as administrator very important that you do that but I think what it does also it does something with the Windows system 32 task scheduler and also uh, there's elements of the Windows runtime DLLs so I think what it is, the Armory Crate actually replaces these with its own versions, which potentially could be problematic. So by using the uninstaller, it restores these files back to their kind of originals, I'm guessing. And the same with some of these DLLs here as well. So 
this is the way to uninstall it. I'm not going to go through it and do it on this video because it does take uh, quite a long time. So that is a waste of my time and of yours, but certainly this is what I would suggest doing. So rather than using the uninstaller from the Windows control panel, download the uninstaller tool, Armory Crate uninstall tool, uninstall the whole lot, reboot your computer. You can then reinstall Armory Crate if you still want to use it. But then I would suggest when you do the updates, don't download those two BD files or updates. Again, if you're not too sure which ones they are, if you've uh, got access to a computer, head on to Discord. You can take a screenshot of what you've got on your screen and send me an image, and I'll kind of try and guide you through which ones are the right ones and the wrong ones. If indeed this is the root cause, which it does seem to be, and after reinstalling this, my RGB seems to be absolutely fine. So no problems with it at yet. So no problems with it as of yet. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So there you go, potentially not a perfect fix for all of you, but I think for those of you that have been pulling out your hair, trying to work out what the hell is going on with Asus Armory Crate. Now, of course, in the comments below, there's bound to be loads of people saying, well, don't use Armory Crate, just use Signal RGB or Open RGB or any of those other types of programs. But for a lot of people, myself included, I do like to use the motherboard or the manufacturer's tools for controlling my components, my RGB, fan speeds, all that kind of stuff, and also doing updates. So yeah, it's not a kind of fix all just by nuking the software. Ideally, if we can, it's nice to fix it, which this certainly seems to have done for now. Hopefully that will be the case and it will remain that way. If it changes, I'll obviously update this video or remove it, whatever. But please do let me know if you've had problems with your Armory Crate software and especially the Aurora Sync section where you're having your lights going mad. Let me know if you've done something different to actually try and resolve it. And maybe I can try that in a follow-up video. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this video and hopefully it's been useful to you. If it has, smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and the chime notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Dave. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.